Hello, folks. This is Joe at Fantasticon. I'm standing here next to Alex from Get Geeked Entertainment. Is that correct? Yes, sir. How are we doing, Joe? Uh, well, all right. I guess the interview's about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fine. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. Alex and I have crisscrossed paths a few times. Mm -hmm. Actually, just once. I was a liar. Um, no, actually, yeah, we crisscrossed yesterday, and I met him at the Grand Rapids Comic Con yeah, yeah, last yeah, year yeah, for the first time. Yeah. We do similar stuff. So you would uh, obviously give a better idea and answer as to what you do. So what is Get Geeked all about? Uh, Get Geeked Entertainment is a collective group of totally geeky, nerdy, crafty years and cosplayers providing entertainment to the masses at cons and local events. Okay. When you say in crafters, do you mean you make stuff? Absolutely. Like a certain Groot <laughs> figure that's standing behind us? Yes, this is my beautiful, most well-known creation. My Groot version, let's say, call him version four. Did he, like, grow from wood every time, like a little sprout? Uh, he grew from pieces of foam every single time. Dude, how long did it take you to make this? Uh, each one takes me roughly a little bit shorter than the last. First one took me about three to four months. Now I can build a whole one in under a month. Oh, just under a month. Well, yeah. it just yeah. knocks it out. Yeah. Also, you're known for Bumblebee. Bumblebee was a big hit. Um, uh, unfortunately, and fortunately at the same time, I did sell Bumblebee. Um, he was a wonderful costume. I loved him dearly, but it, I, I say actually I liked him dearly. I love my Groot. I like Bumblebee. Uh, Chicago Art Institute decided to buy him from me, and I was happy to do so. Well, that's gnarly, actually. Yeah. So how did Get Geeked Entertainment come about? Uh, it actually started with just me. Uh, I wanted Boy, a page. I know those troubles. <laughs> I wanted just to show off my work and what I can do. And as I kept progressing, I met amazing people, going to cons, like-minded people. And all of us were doing our own thing separately. But if you combine powers, you're much more powerful. Oh, I agree. Like Voltron or Transformers. Exactly. Power Rangers, they never fought separately in their swords. They always just go right into Megazord and they're done. Oh, okay. I was like, false? Like, they fought separately when they're on the battlefield, but once they jo jumped into... Once they jumped in, they're like, oh, yeah, Tiger. Yes, and, I, but I, they, that always bothered me. I can completely... That always bothered you? That always bothered me. What's the point of having your own cool robot if you're just going to join into one robot? That's actually a good point. I never thought about that. Like, yeah. are you, like, distraught when you're at events that have former Power Rangers... And, like, you bring that up to them and, like, get out of here. Kid. You're bothering me. That's probably the first time I've talked about it since. Because <laughs> the, the Power Ranger movie was the only one who actually did it. Remember? They, they actually fought in their separate Zords. Dude, I saw that a long time ago. It's been but, so But long. it was the only cool part they ever did. I don't even like Power Rangers, but that just came out of nowhere. Oh, that's a first. Uh, uh, you just Yeah, you just lost any contracts with the Power Ranger sorry. crew. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, it's a really bad Japanese show. Okay, oh, we're going to go back to the original one. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that was something different. No, it, the it Sentai Japanese shows. Japanese roots, though. Yes, the Sentai yeah. shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah, exactly. Kamen Rider. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was it, Ultraman or something? Ultraman was a, a Sentai show yeah, yeah, as well exactly. back in the day. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, I recently saw the Ultraman. fireworks. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. Well, you have a, a crew. Can you, I know there's a few folks in there. Like, is it Crafty Rock Cosplay? Uh, C Crafty Rock Cosplay is Miss Sarah Foss. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Who are um, some of the other members of your crew? We got Mr. Brett Hodgkins and his lovely fiance, uh, fiance, fiance, Samantha. A uh, fiance. Uh, at BGH Cosplay. And Mr. Zach Pope, which I don't think he goes by anything else, but Mr. Zach Pope, he was Ultron. A lot of people from Motor City love him. Uh, he won second place last year. Awesome. Um, a lot of local talent. Uh, we uh, Right now, as it sits, we have three members who placed first, second, uh, and me, of course, I took first at Motor City and Grand Rapids. So. This man is just amassing wards left and right. We're trying. We're trying. And that's just to get the name out there. It's not to rub it in anyone's face. It's just... We oh, I took more, it as a slight. Yeah, but we get we get more recognition and, and people recognize us and want us there more if we can win the competitions. Oh, I can yeah. I can understand the validity of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, what are some upcoming events that you will be at? Uh, right now, we are booked for the next upcoming one. Will be Fantastic on Toledo edition. Okay. Uh, Joe, who runs Fantastic on, is a wonderful man. He has decided to really put his get geeked, really put us almost at every single Fantastic Con. He loves our group. He's always very encouraging. Uh, so we'll be at almost all Fantastic Cons. Um, and Grand Rapids Comic Con is probably the big one because that is the largest con we've been invited to. It's a nice con. It's a very nice con, yeah. 
All right, well, if people are interested in checking out more about your group, where can they find you online? Uh, Geek Geek Town Facebook. Look for the blue and orange logo. Um, yeah, believe me, I, I know about the blue and orange <laughs> yeah, logo. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, well, yesterday when I, yeah. he was interviewing me, I mentioned uh, that I was thinking of blue and orange, and I saw their logo. I was like, oh, I don't want to rip them off. But yeah. I, want, I mean, I yeah. want to start a fierce, fierce rivalry, don't get me wrong. No. But not over color schemes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not even a fierce rivalry over anything. No, 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 no. We no, work no, together, no. we grow stronger. No, 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 I... Death knell for you, sir. Death <laughs> knell will be ringing. Totes. Oh, totes. Totes. Hey, right. Brian, I used the word totes. Oh. So what would you like to say to folks that have been checking you out before we wrap this up? Honestly, just thanks for the support. That's all that really matters. We're here to have fun. We're here to entertain people. We're here to make people happy, and that's what we're here for. That's it. It's that simple, that clean. We What's don't it? want your money. We don't want you anything. Just support. That's it. Fair enough. That's yeah. actually a very valid point. Yeah. Well, folks, this is a show with Alex of Get Geeked. I keep wanting to say Geeked Get. No, but Get Geeked Entertainment yeah. at Fantasticon. We Take get you geeked. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks.